So I was out walking around my city today and I started noticing things that I'd never noticed before. And now I've lived here for over 20 years of my life. And today I was noticing things that I'd never seen before. So I started taking my pictures and I started recording a little bit of video here and there. And I was like, man, this is actually pretty cool. Like, I never noticed this before. Here we go. So the reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because I feel like sometimes we look at our reef tanks and once in a while we notice something that we never noticed before and we find a way to appreciate it. But other times we keep looking at our tank and we look at the same stuff, the flashy stuff that stands out, the stuff that looks really cool, looks really nice. And I think we overlook a lot that there is to be thankful for and appreciate in our reef tanks. I remember when I first set up a reef tank and the water was so cloudy that I couldn't even see the rocks. And as the water kind of settled out and I could start seeing the rocks, I was so excited. Then I remember I added the first couple uh, hermit crabs and snails to the tank. And there was really nothing for them to eat in there. So I had to put some pellets in there that, that they were able to find. But I remember just getting my face right next to the glass, just kind of coming up over the edge of the glass. And as the hermit crab was on the sand bed right next to the glass, and I was just staring at it, I thought, wow, this is so cool. Like, you can have this in your living room. I thought, this is just neat. And since then, I can't remember the last time that I've just stared at a snail and thought, this is amazing that there's a saltwater snail living in my living room. I think sometimes, guys, we just overlook some of the cool stuff that we have. And I know a lot of you guys have made some comments on my video about how cool my tank is and how beautiful my coral is. And first of all, this didn't happen overnight. And it wasn't cheap to be able to do it. Secondly, I, I feel like each step of my journey, each step along the way, I've found ways to appreciate and really value everything that I've had. I value my protein skimmer almost as much as I value my prized corals in my tank. I value my lights almost as much as I value my most favorite fish and coral in my tank. I learned to value these things more and more because I know the more that I find value in everything, the more I learn to appreciate it for what it really is and not for the artificialness of just buying something or just throwing something in there just because it's the newest, hottest, greatest coral on the market or the newest, hottest, greatest fish out there, you know, and, and somewhere in the mix of all this, I need reminders myself. But when those reminders come, how do I respond to them? When I'm reminded about everything that I have living in my tank, the little things, right? The little things, the hermit crabs, the snails, like the stuff that nobody really thinks about anymore later on. But when I'm reminded about how cool those are, do I agree with that? And do I learn to reappreciate them and value them again? Or do I just kind of shrug it off and think, well, yeah, that's old news. Because I feel like if that's our attitude and we can't remember what it was like to be so thankful and happy just for the simple little things, I feel like we're not ever going to truly be happy with our reef tanks again because we're always going to want to keep getting more and more and more. And, and at what point do we ever just get enough to be thankful and happy for what we have. 
at what point do we get there and just say, you know what, I got everything I've ever wanted, now I'm happy. I don't think I've ever met someone in this life that has ever told me, I've got everything I want, now I'm happy. There's always something more. And even if you make a list of everything that you want, write it all down, and then you all get it all of it someday, then all of a sudden you just shift and you want something else. You want to do something else. And I just want to encourage you guys, be thankful for what you have. You know, and I'm not, I'm not like comparing anybody or anything at all. I'm just saying what a cool reminder it is, you know, to look back at the journey and look back at each step of the journey and just remember what it was like in those moments where our heart was just so thankful and joyful. And there's a, another side hobby of mine. Part of it is this, it's, it's photography and video making, and I'm still pretty new to it. And I, I just got a new camera, the Sony A7R2, and I was thinking about trading it back in and upgrading for something even nicer, even though I just got it. And something inside of me was like, you need to get something nicer, you need to get something nicer. But then I started to think a little bit like, well, where does it stop then? I could buy a little bit nicer camera, but where's it going to stop? Where's it going to end? Once I get a nicer camera, aren't I just going to want another nicer camera? Aren't I going to want to just upgrade again? So I want to find a way to be thankful and really appreciate and value the one that I have and put it to the best use possible and, and use it to, you know, inspire, to create and, and to push others in a sense of not giving up and not quitting. And, and I love being motivated. I love being passionate about things. So I feel like I'm at a place now where I just want to start investing a little bit more of my time into video making and putting myself out there on YouTube a little bit, putting my tank out there, putting my experiences out there even more so, making a little bit more in-depth videos. I've been really good at kind of just getting behind the camera and just pointing and shooting and, and just kind of rambling behind the camera. But I want to get to the place where, you know, I can put out not only that entertaining stuff that's real, that I know a lot of you guys appreciate, you know, the being real and just laying it out there as simple as I can, but I also want to teach some things that are in depth while having fun with it. So I'm, I'm not just trying to like evolve to be like everyone else out there. I'm trying to just grow in the sense that I want to challenge myself. I want to challenge myself to do something that honestly, right now, in my perspective, I feel like it's almost impossible. Looking at the way that some of these guys edit videos, coming up with some of the ideas that some people come up with, being able to get out and, and read a situation and figure out a way to create something out of that that's useful, entertaining, and beneficial all at the same time, it's like, I want to accept that challenge. Like, no more sitting around and, and just you know, dreading the day, dreading tomorrow and having to go to work. No more sitting around and, and just reading a book all day because I, I feel like things haven't worked out in my life the way that I want them to, or just sitting around watching TV because I want to just get lost in another world or I want to worship sports athletes or something. It's like, I want to get out there. I want to do something productive. I want to do something that's fun, that's beneficial. I want to be somebody. I want to be something. And I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to give up. And I don't want you guys to give up either. There's people around me in my life that I, I watch every day between my job and friends and even some family. And it's like I watch people give up in a lot of little things all day, every day. And I see very few people get that grit in their teeth and just gird up their loins and say challenge accepted make it harder make it harder i want to do this i want to complete this i want to finish this task i want to learn along the way i want to grow i want to get stronger i want to be better i want to help you i want to be a, a help for others and and make others lives better it's like i just don't see that so much today i see so many people sitting around Come feed me. Come make my life better. Come make my life easier. 
do this for me, do that for me. And it's like, there's not enough of us that are just going to say, you know what, I'll help you, but I'm going to tell you the truth too. You got to get up off your butt and you got to do something with your life, man. You got to do something. You can't just sit around all day and mope. Anyways, I, I, I feel passionate about this. Like, I feel like we're at the perfect time of the world right now and the unpredictability of everything that's going on. I just feel like now's the perfect time to do something big. You want to start a business selling coral? Then start a business selling coral. Figure out a plan. Get some nice coral. Let them grow out. Take care of them. Invest your heart. Invest your energy into it. You want to build aquariums for people? Build a practice one right now. Stop thinking about it. You want to start a YouTube channel? Stop thinking about it. Just start recording something. Start somewhere. I guarantee the first 20 to 50 videos you make are going to suck. They're going to be horrible. But you're going to learn each video. You're going to learn something more. And stop all this stuff about working at a place that you don't want to work at. If you don't want to work there, get a different job. <laughs> I, I've, I've done that many times in my life. I've kept working at the same place that I was just miserable at. And it took me so long to figure out, I got to get away from this. And it's like the same thing. I'm married now, happily married, very blessed, very happy. And, and we still have our struggles. We still have our fights and our ups and downs and everything. But I remember back when I was dating, and I feel like we've all been there. We've been dating someone, and things just start going south. And we know we should get out of the relationship. But for some reason, we feel guilty, and we keep doing it. And we're just miserable all the time. Because we feel this guilt about, well, I was treating them bad too. And I said some things I shouldn't have. And their parents are going to be so mad at me or their friends are going to hate me. And so we find all these excuses to not end something that already just sucks and isn't worth it. And it's like, get out, get out and get over it. You made some mistakes. You made some bad choices. Learn from it for once. Learn from it. Do something better now. Be stronger about it. Do the right thing now. Take all that crap, take the hardships, take the struggles, learn from it. Let it build you up so that you can wake up in the morning and think, man, I've learned so many hard lessons in life. Thank God I'm still here. Thank God I'm still alive. How can I be a blessing today? How can I serve someone today? How can I make someone's day today? Today is the day to do it, not tomorrow. Do it now. Let's start now. All right. That was pretty intense. Holy moly, man. I feel like, whoa, I got to start right now. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I I just love you guys. I, I'm so thankful for you watching. Some of you guys have just been so kind to me. So kind. I encourage you to take that kindness and show it to someone else too. Encourage and be kind to someone else tonight, today, whenever this video comes out. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, if you've found any of it helpful i encourage you to subscribe hit that like button if you want to give me a thumbs down that's all right but please let me know why and of course i always appreciate your video suggestions we'll see you guys in the next video aquatic bobs whew, out